Hi everyone, my name's Darren O'Hare and one of my passions is photography. I shoot digital as well as film and right now I'm really interested in shooting large format. In this series of videos I will be documenting my 4x5 camera build from start to finish. Something about me is that I really enjoy the creative process whether that be art or design, photography, videography, or simply just building something. When I make something myself, I really enjoy the sense of pride that I get afterwards because it shows that I've put a lot of effort into something. And this is why I've decided that I'd like to try and build a camera rather than just buying one. In this first episode, I'll be talking about my research, my drawing plans, and some of the materials that I've gathered so far. So after a fair bit of research, here are some of the things that I learnt about how these cameras work. Large format film photography differs from small or medium format in that the size of the negative or the, or the film is much larger. So if you look at the difference between small and medium format film sizes, large format is just a whole lot bigger. And why that matters is because you get a whole lot more resolution. Basically there's more, there's more megapixels. So the same benefits for shooting medium format over 35 millimeter apply to large format as well they're essentially like boxes which is also why they're sometimes called box cameras the lens is attached to the front standard and the film is loaded onto the rear standard the front standard can be moved closer or further away from the rear standard which is how you focus the image the further the lens is extended out the closer the focus will be. Before I started drawing up plans for building this camera, I wanted to get my hands on a lens and film holders, and that way I'd be able to take measurements from those things before actually starting to build it. There just so happens to be a, a camera shop in my neighborhood that sells uh, film equipment as well as large format camera gear. So I was able to get a pretty good deal on a 135mm lens and uh, a lens board. And I also picked up some film holders as well. There's two, so I've got four shots in total. The brand for these are called Rightway, and they seem to be in pretty good condition. I'll probably go back and, and get some more, but I thought two would be enough for testing purposes. So to quickly explain how these work, there's a dark slide on either side, double sided. When you remove the slide, it is ready to be exposed. It seems like a really good option for me because it's, it's pretty close to the equivalent of 50 millimeters on like a 35 millimeter format, um, slightly wider because I think 150 is like the standard for large format. So it is slightly wider. Um, everything works, which is good. If I open up the aperture, you can see that there's a preview. So after priming the shutter or cocking the shutter, you press it down like that. And so for these, you just screw them in, cock the shutter, and that's it. So for the body, I bought these two um, wooden boxes, which just makes it easier because then I don't have to actually go and build one. I can just use this as a base. Because of the fact that one is a little bit smaller than, than the other one, I'm thinking of making a second camera that's just a little bit more compact 
and um, that'll probably have very little movements, if any at all. So I've made a bit of a commitment to the brass hardware. Um, if everything's brass, it'll look much nicer. I got these knobs as well, and these are going to be used for um, adjusting the camera. I also got this um, strip of brass. So for my focus rail, I've decided to just use some small rig parts. Uh, these are parts that I already had, so it makes it very handy. And it's going to be something that I'll be able to take apart uh, really easily. It's a quick and easy solution. Obviously, you could fabricate this, but I figured that because I've got all this material already, I'll just use this. And I'm going to be using a threaded rod. And that's going to be how I can adjust the focus. So once it's anchored down and stuck there, I'll be able to fine tune adjust the focus. Thank you for watching. In the second episode, I'll start building the camera.